So Chad, how'd the job interview go? They did like a background check on me? And they found some stuff that I'm not too proud of. Interesting. So did you try to like place some context? Maybe even talk about how you've grown as a person since then? So like in retrospect, that probably would have been what I should have done. But instead I did what I like to call the Kavanaugh. I basically scream at the interviewers for like 45 minutes, right? Then I brought up all these conspiracy theories I have of why they don't want to hire me. Revenge on behalf of the Clintons. And then when I saw that wasn't working, I started to cry. Said to Ashley, we should pray for the woman. A lot of wisdom from a 10 year old. And then when that didn't work, I just started screaming about how much I love beer. I drank beer with my friends. Sometimes I had too many beers. I liked beer. I still like beer. Had beers, have some beers. One beer, drink beer, drinks beer, drank beer, and drinking beer. You've probably had beers, Senator. Beach Week Ralph Club biggest contributor. You know, I got a weak stomach, whether it's with beer. I like you beer. For that. I like beer. I don't know if you do. Okay. Do you like beer, Senator, or not? Um, what do you like to drink? Next one. Hanging out and having some beers with friends, which I gladly do. So, Chad, where was this job at? The job was at McDonald's. So did you get the job? Uh, Kavanaugh got a lifetime appointment to a job, and all I got was arrested, y'all. The thing is, I've seen that method used by other chuds and it worked. Check it out. <laughs> Crying in public is an alpha male chud special move that we all use when the jig is up. You know what I mean? Supreme Court is a sacred institution and should be treated as such. Sacred, huh? Mm, strong word, Chad. Yeah. So this douche with hair plugs never won the popular vote. He served one term and ended up picking one-fourth of the justices on that court. Two white dudes and a fundamental Christian Karen. So, sacred. Two white dudes and a fundamentalist Karen. Where have I heard this before? This seems so familiar. Oh yeah, prime time on Fox News. Tune in, Chad. No, I don't think I will. Republicans will tell you that the court is sacred, and it is sacred to them, because it's the only way them as a minority can still impose their beliefs onto the majority of the population. Let's start looking at historically what the court's been used for. Dredd versus Scott denied black Americans the right to vote. Plessy versus Ferguson was used to uphold segregation in the South. White drinking fountains, white schools, you name it. Yeah, you starting to see a pattern here? I think I'm starting to understand why Republicans don't want to teach critical race theory. This is pretty embarrassing stuff. <laughs> Citizens United. Basically making billionaires the only people that can have political voice in this country anymore. Bush versus Gore. They literally handed the guy who lost the presidential race the presidency. I mean, what's that thing that you chuds like to chant? Stop the steal. Stop the steal. Stop the steal. Exactly. And do you remember when Democrats stormed the Capitol after that election? Really? You guys did that too? Because no, we, Chad, we didn't do that because we're not in a cult of personality. Chad, do you know what the deep state is? Do I know the deep state? Of course I know the deep state. It's a plot by like AOC, Pelosi, and I think Hillary in like a pizza place where they're all trying to make us believe in global warming so they can make us all communist. I, I think it's something like that. I'm agreeing with you that there's a deep state and it's called the Federalist Society. They own, and I do mean own, half of the Supreme Court justices on the court. Half. That sounds interesting at all, but do they own a pizza place? It's kind of integral to the deep state. Pizza place. Deep start. Deep dish? I don't know. I don't know where they stand on pizza, Chad, but I do know they control 100% of a single party's judicial picks in this country. And their thesis, their overall crux of what they want is to return America to some kind of modern day serfdom. And how powerful are they? Your outsider, your guy who does whatever he wants and says whatever he thinks, even he was too scared to go against them. Has total respect for Donald Trump and for Donald Trump's very, very large uh, brain. Uh, brain.
The Supreme Court has always been a way for the minority to enact their views and policies on the majority. Billionaires support it because it keeps you distracted with the culture war while they literally strip away workers' rights and any kind of regulations. And in the spirit of the court, in its tradition, now the two white guys and the fundamental Christian Karen are stripping away black people's voting rights in Alabama. But if I'm understanding this right, it sounds like beer isn't the only thing K.K. Kavanaugh likes, right? <laughs> they have decided that segregation is fine when it comes to voting. Welcome to your 2022 Fascist Republican Party. Trump is the new Adolf.